Man, I can't believe those two psychotic monsters did to Lindsay. I feel really bad for her after she suffered a third degree burn and now she's in the coma for three months. I'm starting to feel depressed right now. She didn't deserve to be treated this way. Hey there TJ. I know how you feel about Lindsay. We all heard that she had a third degree burn. Not only that, she feels traumatized after Nora and Garnet did to her was savage and they had to go this way all because of the post which they really deserves. We all feel bad about what happened to your girlfriend after my crew, Jaden's crew, the Code Lyoko warriors and the other users want to get there to save you and Lindsay's family. We all glad you're all safe along with her family as well. I agree for what Cyber is saying. She didn't deserve to get treated this way after she regretted all the fat poster out of Nora and Akaku. We all feel bad for our friend Lindsay that she had to be in a coma for three months, just like what happened to Dylan Dawson after he was captured by the Reapers. Same here Matthew. This entire situation is worst ever since Lindsay. Me and her family are kidnapped and they took us back to North Katakana City to the horrible plasma terrorism squad to kill me, Lindsay and her family. They like to rob banks, kidnap people and torture them for their sick enjoyment. Her and Skylar did the right thing by making a video out of Chaz, Garnet and Wallace dancing in their nappies, then when I tried to save her, she told me to back off. Nora and Okiku had took it personally, she gave my girlfriend a swirly and Okiku posted on social media. When me and Lindsay are given some payback on her giving her a swirly and Lindsay made a post of her and Okiku being fat, and these two girls had started to become more aggressive and savage. And lastly, when me and Lindsay are about to leave Katakana City for our flight to Paris, those group of hypocrites encountered us and they beaten us up, and Olivia healed us from the severe injuries we have. Wow, it was really sad to happen. And now, she suffered a third degree burn after they kidnapped us, and she's gone into a coma for three months. I think I'm going to. Hey there TJ. It's going to be okay. Don't cry. We all feel saddened after what she had to go through all of this trauma she had. I hope my sweet precious daughter will recover soon. I hope that my sweet precious daughter will wake up from a coma. How could those psychotic monsters did this to my precious daughter was torture. Those evil groups likes to terrorize innocent people for their vile enjoyment. She regretted it for that fat post out of Nora and Okaki since these two girls are becoming aggressive. Now these two girls have taken her personally, because she had to go through all this trauma. I know Lorraine. We all pray for our daughter as she wakes up, this will be a miracle if Fumiko and Olivia will heal her injuries she had. We all feel bad for our best friend Lindsay. Now she had a coma for three months, me and Lindsay are best friends since we met each other back in Katakana City High School. Talking about the very funny jokes and going to the amusement park with my best friends too. Lindsay is one of the most helpful person we ever met on my life. Me too. Lindsay was the most helpful, innocent, and the most lovely person I ever had. Me three. After Lindsay graduated high school, we already reunited with my best friend. Talking about our fun stuff we go, going to the beach and looking at the very funny videos on YouTube and TikTok. And now Lindsay is sustained in the coma for three months. Poor Lindsay McCoy. We all feel sorry for Lindsay after what she have to go through this torture. We all hope that she'll recover soon. You're right, Sapphire. I knew those two psychopathic monsters are bad news while Garnet and Nora are laughing. It's time to get those bastards for good. Oh, we're gonna get those stupid hypocrites for making her life a living hell by giving her a third degree burn and got sustained in the coma. All because of those stupid psychopath Nora and Garnet. Lindsay did the right thing for getting a payback on Nora and Akaku. They're much more despicable, vile, rotten and more psychotic than Amira and Bianca. I agree, not only that, just the fact that Nora has given her a swirly while Akiku recorded it and posted on social media. She's becoming more savage that Nora has recently beaten the absolute shit out of Lindsay ever since she did the right thing by making a fat post out of Nora and Okiku for giving her a swirly. They are much worse than the Reapers, Storms, Bianca Star, the Strikers, the Alanastians, Chaos Coalition, Darkness Madness Devils, and more. I agree with Cyber. What Garnet did to her was horrible. Let's get those vile antics a taste of their own medicine just like the Adamantiums did with the Alanastiums. Those psychopathic monsters have done it this time, they made Lindsay's life miserable, 
That's it. We are all gonna give them something for what they've done to poor Lindsay, and we're gonna get those psychopathic monsters a taste of their own medicine. Oh. I can't wait to kick Nora and Garnet's asses when I see them in person. I can't believe those sons of bitches just gave her a third degree burn just because she regretted all the post out of her and Okaiku being fat. No one does that to my best friend. Whoa, Gina. Please calm down. We're gonna get the FBI to get those psychopathic monsters what they deserve. Don't worry, Gina. We'll get the FBI and the police to arrest those psychotic monsters for what they did to my poor innocent daughter. Okay, Mrs. McCoy. Hey, Cyber. What should we do to give them a taste of karma? Well, that's the only thing that we can give what they deserve. We're gonna get them. We're gonna get those psychopathic monsters for all the harmful things they did to Lindsay. All right, guys, here's what we're gonna do. Mrs. McCoy will call the police to get the FBI involved into action. We'll get the glowing retro squad to get their former manager back to Katakana City. Those psychotic monster the fiery terror warriors and the cyberdarth squad are much dangerous as the Reapers, Storms, Bianca Star, the Alanastians, the Darkness Madness Devils, and more. We're gonna get them good. That was fun beating the absolute shit out of Lindsay for making a mockery out of me. We're glad we put her in the hospital. She thinks that she have the guts by making a fat post out of me and Okiku being fat and got away with it. Well, she thought wrong. I know right Nora. We both blasted Lindsay while she's burning into a crisps. Lucky for you. And we all glad that you gave Lindsay a swirly for making a nappy video out of me. Chaz and Wallace while Skylar and her recorded it. Wow, you and Okaku did a great job filming her, that video was funny as hell. Why thank you, Garnet. My swirly video is such a masterpiece, and this video hit 1M views. Lindsay had it coming for humiliating you guys after she and Skylar recorded it, so yay, that was totally worth it. And we all have to say, you two are having some brutal fun while making this bitch suffer into a burning crisp. Lindsay deserved it for making a fat poster out of you guys. She thought we let that fat poster incident slide. Well then, she had it coming. Same here Chaz. Lindsay got what she wished for making a mockery out of you guys, and we're also planning to kidnap this total drama character and making her scream in agonizing pain once we kidnap her. Same, and we're also planning to kidnap this Ninyago character as well. This will be a brutal fun once we make her suffer in agonizing pain as well. Haha. <laughs> Here they are. It's them. We found them. It's those two psychotic criminals who gave Lindsay a third degree burn, and we found those kidnappers what we looking for. Let's get them right now. Gaa Get your fucking hands off me you stupid Katakana City Cop Dogs. Nora, Garnet, Chaz, Andre, Wallace, Okiku, Scarlet, Eleanor, and Akiko. All of you are under arrest for giving Lindsay a third degree burn, assault, attempted murder, kidnapping, aiding and abetting, and more. Now hang on. Lindsay McCall should be punished some more, not this. And wait a minute, who the hell are you guys? You're not the North Katakana City Police which tag and Robert Owens. We're the Katakana Hepburn County Sheriff Department. We all heard that you've been kidnapping Lindsay and her family, Nora, why did you gave her a third degree burn, and we heard about you kidnapping the McCoy family after the FBI officer has filed a 200 feet restraining order to keep away from her. You have crossed the line big time. Well, that fucking bitch should have made that fucking abomination out of me and Okiku being fat, she deserved to be destroyed by us. Yeah, I agree with Nora. She deserved to be burned alive for making a stupid fat post out of Nora and Okiku. Lindsay should be punished some more for what she did to me, Chaz, and Wallace were dancing in their nappies and recorded us and posted it on social media. Bullshit. You have no right to assault that poor girl just for what you guys did, that counts as murder, assault and battery. We hear about you guys killing multiple people at the mall as a rampage. Shame on you. And you all deserved a nappy video for killing people at the mall, kidnapping and terrorize innocent people.
Let's see how you guys like it for the damages you've done. Now your family will pay the hospital bills for giving her a third degree burn. All of you are just sick in the head. That's it. All of you are going away for a very long time. Let's go. Hey, let go of me. You can't arrest us. I hope you're all happy you bunch of idiots. I'll destroy every one of those fucking worms when we get out of jail. I agree with Nora. Let go of us you stupid fucking morons. I shut the hell up. For today's exciting news, the FBI and the local county sheriff department has found the two evil groups, the fiery terror warriors and the Cibadarth squad. Now we're going live with Joey Teasdale in the front of their manor in North Katakana City Beach. Thank you Mr. Ferguson. Joey Tisdale reporting live who stands outside of the Cyberdar Manor where the dangerous group of villains called themselves the Cyberdar Squad and the Fiery Terror Warriors are found by the FBI agents in the local county sheriff department. Here there as the FBI and local county sheriff has found the evil groups are taken to custody. Now they're in the FBI and the sheriff car taken to court for their crimes. As hey, a result, two psychotic right kidnappers now. and the suspect has been found with. by the FBI I for giving Lindsay McCoy a third degree burn. Their Nora and Garner Phillips are arrested for attempted mass murder, armed robbery, kidnapping, terrorism and more. Now they're off to court in Kedokana City for the sentence. Back to you Mr. Ferguson. Thanks for saving us from those psychopaths who took over town. I cannot wait to get back to Katakana City for us to have our new chapter. Yeah. Those bunch of psychopaths will get a taste of their own medicine for what they done to that poor girl giving her a third degree burn. You're welcome there, Mayor Time, Mayor Buzz and Mayor Anft. Now those bunch of evil organizations are taken to court for their crimes. Now, let's get in the other police car and take you guys to Katakana City right away. Okay. This ain't over just yet you bunch of worthless worms. We'll destroy every one of those ones when we get out of prison. At this time, those stupid Severn Neon Warriors won't be getting into our way with our gruesome fun, this won't be over yet again. We won't give up that easily, we'll have our vengeance on Lindsay and the McCoy family to be burned alive. Yet again, we'll slaughter all of those stupid worthless worms and the Ultra Lightning Neon Warriors won't be in the fucking way with our fun. Don't worry Chaz. We're gonna get out of this shithole with our Cyber Darth magic powers and we're gonna kill every one of those victims to be slaughtered. I agree with Wallace, those vermins have gotten lucky. This time, we are going to kill this Ninjago character as we planned. What should we do next, Chaz? Oh, we're going to kill this total drama character once we get out of this hellhole. At this time, we're not going to be eating the stupid disgusting lumpy potatoes for every meal. That shit was disgusting, that made us want to vomit too much when we got sick from eating the shit. Don't worry Chaz, we won't be eating lumpy potatoes for every meal. That's why we're gonna escape jail and get us some change of clothes and we're ready to get this vermin slaughtered. Ugh. Tell me about it Chaz, there's no way I'm eating this garbage. Lumpy potatoes makes me sick from eating it. Me too. Me three. And me four. Don't worry guys, we'll use our teleportation powers to escape this hellhole, we won't give up this easily. In fact, it will be a good time to get those ones to be slaughtered, and Kidakana City will be ours. Alright guys, let's go. Cyber Cyber Darth Darth Magic Magic activate. Huh. Hey! What happened to our powers? And why is nothing is happening? Ha ha. You fools, Cyber and Yaden gave me and Sala Sala something to take away your Cyber Darth magic and fiery terror magic powers. Now you are powerless, and you can't escape while you guys are locked up behind bars. What did you guys used? Oh, something that we're not gonna tell you. Now anyways, time to give you something that you vile antics like you deserve. Wait, what's that? The judge has requested that you vile antics will deserve. In fact, the Ultra Lightning Neon Warriors, Cyber Neon Warriors, 
super cosmic warriors, wonder cults, and the other uses have a special punishment for you vile monsters for what you all did to Lindsay along with Nora and Garnet. The punishment for you all is... Buttons and Bows Treatment Wait, what? You didn't just say. You heard us loud and clear, you all getting a buttons and bows treatment as your punishment. And you want to know why? Because you have been massacring innocent people at the mall, robbing banks, kidnap more people, and torture them for your sick enjoyment. And that's for torturing me and trying to kill me, giving my childhood friend a concussion and giving Lindsay a third degree burn. This is for TJ. Lindsay and her family. You brick better be prepared for your punishment tomorrow for trying to kill me. Let's see how you like it for torturing me and the others for your enjoyment. No 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 Please, please, we don't want an embarrassing punishment please, anything but that. I agree with Chaz. Please, don't do this to us, we're sorry for what we've done. We don't want to be embarrassed like the all anesthetums. We don't know what's gotten to us. We promise we won't do it again. I agree with Chaz. We'll do anything. I agree with Andre. Please, don't do this. We'll do anything. Yes, anything. Yes, we'll do anything but that. Please don't do this. We don't want to hear it. You all getting a buttons and bows treatment as your punishment for all the harmful stuff you guys did. Does it look like we're dumb? No, we're not going to cancel that punishment for all the horrible things you've done. And you better be prepared for your punishment tomorrow for terrorizing innocent people in Katakana City, and you've done a lot of vile and horrible things to people and mild troublemakers. That's right. This punishment will teach you not to do harmful stuff to people. And for all the reasons that Lindsay has to go through this torture, we will also be watching all of you psychopathic monsters getting embarrassed at the stadium as your punishment. This is for the McCoy family, Lindsay, and TJ. So prepare for your punishment tomorrow after what you all done to others. Now if you excuse us, we are out of here. You all better prepare for your punishment, and we hope you Violetics enjoy your prison stay for the rest of your lives. Come on guys, let's go. Tomorrow is gonna be the worst embarrassment ever. Same here, Chaz.